What I have here is a Cummins X15. And if you don't know what a Cummins X15 is, it's the newer version of the IS6. Uh, IS615 uh, got discontinued after 2018, 19, in that range. And the Cummins X15 came on the market. Um, it's the, this one, I believe, is 2018, 19. I mean, like, I think it's late 18. It comes as a 19, but still on the year 2018. But it comes already with a Cummins X15. But uh, just because it is a Cummins X15 with a newer, you know, emission versions, I mean, emission, emission type of control and everything, because the Cummins X15 has some um better performance and better uh, emissions and then the isx then outgoing isx um doesn't mean then doesn't have any of the old Cummins isx common problems and in this case crankshaft the crankshaft on the old Cummins isx's uh used to have damage you know because of the wear and tear of the over the time because of the Cummins isx rolls on the rocker arms are metal and this tends to destroy the crankshaft, causing many different issues. Engine, en engine little, uh, running a little rough, misfiring, or stuff like that. And uh, in this case, I have this Cummins ISX head right here. And uh, you can see the example of a good crankshaft. See, this is the way a crankshaft looks. It has no damage on any of the cams over here. See? It looks okay. So now we are going to see the Cummins IS, uh, the Cummins X15 crankshaft, which is this one right here. We have a couple engines, as ISX engines, that are completely destroyed, but uh, that one is not destroyed except for the problem that it's having. And this right here is the I, uh, the X15 crunch, uh, crankshaft, and we can see right here the damage. You can see the wear of the cam right there specifically on cylinder number one we have these and it's a pretty deep damage this means that this crankshaft has to be this crankshaft i'm sorry has to be replaced because the engine is not going to work properly because we have a a, a tolerance reduction because of the wear here and also this damage is going to be present on the rocker arms of these uh, engine which are over there so this is the rocker arm that suffers the damage and you can see how this one looks see all this damage and this is the reason why we have that kind of damage so the thing is this this is a pretty new engine. We are in 2021 right now, and this engine is a 2018. We can say it has three years on the market and it already has issues. Not sure the mileage, let's check the mileage. Let me see what is the mileage of this engine so you guys can get the idea. Uh, <laughs> Okay, it is a 419,000 miles. That is a pretty low mileage. 419,000 miles. So that is, is leaving half or half million of miles and this engine is already failing. That is not good because uh, uh, the X15 supposed to be an updated version of the ISX then uh, was uh, you know, may to this, um, we can say discard some of the common problems than the ISX used to have in the past. But uh, we can see that that is not the case because the problems are still the same. And the big issue then is then we have to remove the radiator and everything in order to remove the crunch, the crankshaft because the crankshaft goes in the front. The coming ISX doesn't have top cams uh, covered. Uh, like caps on top so you can remove the bolts like you know many different brands they have caps then you can remove the bolts and then take the can the crankshaft 
away, but in this case, the cannon shaft goes like old school. You have to remove it all the way to the front. And the radiator is a big problem because it's not going to give you the clearance to remove it to the front. So that's the reason you have to remove the radiator. And that is in all Cummins ISXs. If you have a 2000 Cummins ISX, you still gotta do that. And if you have a 2021 Cummins X15, and still got to do that. So because they carry pretty much the technologies, uh, engine looks pretty much the same. If you look at ISX versus like X15, it looks kind of the same. Some difference here and there, like, you know, crankcase filters, EGR coolers and stuff like that are different. But other, that, other than that, it looks kind of the same because the engine doesn't change that much, but it still carries all the common problems when I, when I, when I am talking about mechanic components. When it comes to electronics, that is going to be a different thing because electronics are different. But when it comes to the engine block itself with components of the engine are very similar. So the, comp uh, the common problems are going to be carried on with time. But um, it is just a little, uh, or, um, we can say, uh, uh, introduction of the problems of the X15 from science. I haven't done that many videos of X15 engines. so we are getting started on the common problems that we are going to get science common problems this common problem used to be very common on ISX engines but on, I, on X15 is already happening which means then it's going to be a common problem on X15s as well but uh, if you have any type of su suggestions questions or anything to add to this video specifically to these X15 engines just comment below. Comment below if you have experiences about any type of uh, type uh, of problems that you are experimenting, experimenting with your X15 engine. Science is the new on the market and is the engine that is going to be over the road in couple of years as a used truck for many of you. So that's the reason why it's very important for you to start uh, getting the uh, knowledge on the comment section, answering questions or giving your opinions about it. Uh, <coughs> uh, you have uh, any questions and you have want to ask me directly, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco my YouTube, there you can ask me anything directly. Uh, you want to send support, check the description of the video. I have this is how to send support to the channel. Um, be sure to like the video, share it, subscribe, and thank you for watching.